As some of you are aware, we regrettably had to cancel the Gold Award ceremonies at St James's Palace in the middle of March, and now we've lost the ones planned for Buckingham Palace in May, for which I'm very sorry. However, I can assure you, we'll do everything we can to reschedule as soon as the time is right. In the meantime, I and a few others wanted to congratulate you on achieving your Gold Duke of Edinburgh's award. There were probably times when you were doing it where you were wondering why, and if it was anything like mine, it was probably halfway through the expedition. But now it's over, I hope you can savour that sense of satisfaction, and looking back, feel that it was not only an enjoyable experience, but also a worthwhile one. More importantly, you should feel justifiably proud of what you've achieved. Can I also say that I'm really heartened by the fantastic stories I've been hearing about how the DOV family is making, actively making a difference under these challenging circumstances. And I know that lots of you are out there using your volunteering skills and life experiences to contribute to efforts in your local communities, especially supporting the vulnerable and the isolated. Thank you so much. Now, I hope this collection of films will help boost your morale and show you how much people admire your resilience, as well as giving you just a little insight into that band of Gold Award holders that you have just become a part of. Guys, it's Marvin Humes here. Hello, Katie Thistleton here. Hi, I'm Sally Gunnell. Hello, I'm Hugh Bonneville. Hi, I'm Justine Gosling. Hello, I'm Jenny Bond. Hello, this is Chris Tarrant. Hello to all of you. Duke of Edinburgh Gold Award holders. I want to say massive congratulations. Just huge, enormous, gigantic, gold-coloured congratulations. Congratulations! 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 Congratulations, all you Gold Award winners. I just wanted to say congratulations on your fantastic achievement. And I know this isn't quite how you wanted to be rewarded. It was meant to be a big old event. I'm so sorry we're not celebrating in proper style. I am self-isolating in Australia in my daughter's bedroom. So uh, I've found whatever I can to look as regal as possible. It's such a shame that we've had to reschedule this year, but for obvious reasons, we all know why, I won't go into that. I know to get this award, you have to show many different criteria. You've pushed yourself, you've got out of your comfort zone. You've volunteered to help others, giving up your time. You've learned that you can overcome things that are pretty difficult, particularly on those big expeditions. You've also learned some rather transferable skills. And you can be certain that you've got the mental strength and stamina to cope with whatever life throws at you now. It's an enormous achievement. Incredible times call for incredible people, and that is exactly what you lot are. And I'd encourage you at this point to celebrate, to enjoy the moment, but also not to see this as the end of the long path to get to this point but rather to see it as the springboard for everything that comes next. So if you can impart some of the lessons that you've learnt along the way to people around you, you will be helping a lot of people, not just yourselves. I know how hard you've all worked, the sacrifices you've made. This is an achievement that you can and should be proud of for the rest of your life. And we'll all get through this together. Well done to everybody. Keep it going. I'm wishing you all the success in your future. But once again, many congratulations. I'm proud of you. I'm working with vulnerable people in the community, making sure that they have enough food, supplies and medication. Also just having someone to talk to as well, because I find that lots of people are afraid at this time and having someone to talk to on the phone has really been helping. I've been working with a bunch of other volunteers to support my village, um, and especially the elderly and those who can't go out and um, collect their prescriptions, go food shopping, stuff like that. I'm helping in the coronavirus pandemic by working as a patient transport for the ambulance service. This means I'm transporting patients to and from hospital for their treatment who can't make their own way there. In order to support the coronavirus relief effort, I have volunteered with my local hospital group. Here, I work with pharmacists in order to keep up with the demand for medication.